I'm Ivan Zoot and welcome to another video at Jatai Academy in our continuing series of providing you with the latest and greatest and best information in the professional beauty industry. Today, a very timely topic and that is reviews and reviews on sites. Sites like Google, sites like Yelp, sites like TripAdvisor. You know, social sharing has become an essential part of business and an essential part of many people's consumer lives. There are people consuming products and services and typing and sharing about them every single day. And there are people providing products and services that are keenly aware of the fact that these reviews impact their business and their bottom line. So today I wanted to offer some suggestions on behalf of Jatai Academy for how you can utilize how you can assimilate, how you can engage by way of some of these reviews to properly and effectively impact your business and engage with these folks. Number one out there is check regularly. You gotta be out there, you gotta be looking, you gotta be lurking, you gotta be snooping around. Check your listing on Google, check your listing on Yelp and see what those reviews are all about, what they're saying and what's involved. Uh, know what the chatter is out there. Sometimes it's enough to look and say nothing. If good people are saying good things about you and what you do, back off, stay away, let them do their job, they're taking good care of you. If there are people out there that might be offering up some negatives, sometimes the best thing to do is nothing. Other times, it's best to engage them in a proper and professional way. That's probably subject for another video, but my main point is be looking and seeing what's there. Number two, develop the ability to discern. It is extremely important to develop the ability to understand the difference between white noise, that little bit of low level chatter, that little bit of kind of little gripiness that really isn't a true reflection of your product or your service or the attitude or the impression of your business. I think consumers are very keen on this and I think you need to be too. You don't need to react to every single little negative comment. You don't need to respond to every single, oh my gosh, I love you, out there. At both ends of the spectrum, develop the ability to discern what is real and concerning versus what is just the, the background chatter that's part of life on the web. The next suggestion, and I think probably the most powerful one of this video, actually came from one of my children who shared this idea through some of his social media experience. I think he's of an age where he's very keenly in tune to reading reviews, consuming reviews, and probably creating reviews as well. His answer was, or his idea was, read your threes. People score you one through five. Read your threes. Somebody with a one might just have an ax to grind or might have had one in isolated bad experience. Someone with a five might be your mother-in-law, might be somebody just looking to blow sunshine. The people that write a review, that take the time and they write a three, that's probably somebody who's clearly in the middle of the road, otherwise they wouldn't have given you a three, but that's probably somebody that's offering some positives and some negatives. It's probably somebody offering some balance. It's probably somebody taking the time. I think I've found, and this is only anecdotal, I have no proof behind it, but people that rate you a three will type more. People rate you a one, bad haircut. You didn't do anybody any good by writing that. People will write you a five, love you, thank you. How does that really help my business? But people that take time to craft a three are probably doing this all a, quite a bit of good. Next on the list is asking patrons, customers, clients to post reviews. You know the reviews are out there. You know the reviews are important. We're not asking for anybody to be dishonest. And I'm not necessarily keen on the notion of rewarding people for reviews. But ask your clients, have a sign up and make a point of telling your clients, if you enjoyed us and you enjoyed our service, please put a comment on Yelp. Please comment on the Google page. Please say something nice on the Facebook page. It will help us and we appreciate it. Those are some of my simple tips for working with the world of reviews out there. How can we engage? How can we glean benefit? How can we interact with the community that's out there interacting with us? I'm Ivan Zut for Jatai Academy. Of course, as always, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web. We'll see you again here. Thanks for watching and have a great day.